reason the Lord begins to highlight songs is because it's what he's doing. So we're going to go around Jericho. Sometimes you need to demand your freedom. So some people, you are free, but you are ex your emotions will catch up. So emotions are acting in a kind, but God say, even the Lord has set free, is free indeed. You see, this is, not a, this is not a church that is not praying. So I'm not here to sermonize you on how to pray. I'm just here to highlight what God is highlighting for you in this season. And one of the weapons the Lord is saying is joy. If God has shown you mercy, you respond with joy. Oh, Shalabayada! We are pressed on all sides, but we are not crossed. The devil thought that would bring us down, but that is releasing a greater grace of glory. Hey, Nigeria is at a betting point. That's why what we feel, what we see, we declare joy. We declare joy. Can we celebrate God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Pastor Taiwo, and all the pastor, pastor. Yeah, I'm greeting him. Praise God. Can you celebrate yourself? Thank you so much for having me. Adela, thank you so much. You may be seated. Thank you, choir. We're going to pray in a bit. But the Lord said to me, the people, the Lord is just inviting you to come into your kingdom reality. What is there is, is a trap. It's a trap. And one of the biggest ways, I was asked to Pastor Tyler what he thought, what the Lord said to me was, people, it's time to live free. You are free, but a lot of us are not living free. And the greatest bondage and the greatest trap in our day, like never before, is the thought life. Is the thought life. And I want to show us two scenarios that we're going to use to pray. You cannot pray to a God you suspect. You can't pray to a God you are, you think he's good, but you really don't believe he's good to you. And you feel like you can't even express how you feel because they'll say that's religion. Or religion will tell you, no, I tell people there's a difference between asking God question and questioning God. Questioning God is questioning his character. Asking question is, Lord, I want to know. I want to know. So I'm going to try to do this in 15 minutes and then we can have time to pray. But the prayer we're going to do, guys, sorry, daddy among me, everybody. What I sense in my spirit is joy. I can't, I'm sure that's why God was. You have to practice laughter mode. You need to have laughter breaks. If you need to set alarm on your clock, you see, it's a sacrifice of praise because you have a choice. You can choose to forget, choose to be depressed, or choose to praise. And we're in a season like never before. It's like Goshen and Egypt, where we're seeing pressure on all sides. And the devil is asking, did God really say? But God's saying, we are free. Towards the end of February, I heard clearly the Lord said, we are well able to take the land. And I want to show us in this minute. Somebody say, I'm free. So this evening, I'm talking about living free. The first thing you need to know is that in the spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. There is no way you can experience freedom without the presence of God. And as much as I love when we worship together, the presence of God is those moments you don't even feel like it's there. It's not goosebumps. Because if it's goosebumps, that means all those anti B, they're having great presence of God. Do you get me? Because in their own concert too, they fall they have goosebumps. Someone can play good instrument like this, but I just like this now. But I can play things. And any, you, so my point is, why we thank God for the manifestation of the spirit we know. But the Lord is calling a generation to know it more than feelings. Because most of the times you might not feel it. But you will know it. And they can't take it away from you. Yeah. Tolu, your name is Tolu. No matter how much I convince her, she can't believe her name is, her name is Tope. And if I ask you, Tolu, how do you know your name is Tolu? You say, I know. I'm saying, yes, how do you know? 
That's what they've called you all the time. I said, what if it's a lie? It's a lie that I'm trying to convince you that it is a lie. And that's where God is inviting us to the place where we know that he's a good God. And he wants us to live free. The point is we're trying to negotiate with emotions. Your emotions, are, they are good indicators, but they are lousy drivers. Your emotions can't drive you and tell you if you're free. Are you born again? Have you accepted the Lord? Are you filled with the Holy Ghost? Listen to me, you're free. Now the question is, how do you live free? It's beyond what you say in front of the altar. You need to now go in the word till it conforms to you. Tolu, please let me check my bag. I think I have a mirror. I want to show you what the Lord is saying. So, in his, in his presence. Quickly. And listen to this. According to Luke chapter 4, we don't have enough time, but you can read it from verse 19 to 20. No, 19 to 20. The Lord said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord, meaning the reason I'm here. He's to, he has anointed me to bring the good news. He has sent me to proclaim that captives will be released. God has, that's why he's anointed. I'm not anointed just so that you can serve a taskmaster. God is saying the anointing. I was anointed. And guess what? So in Luke 4, he said the scripture has been fulfilled today. Meaning your, your freedom was sealed that day. From that day, your freedom is sealed. The li- I used to work in the bank. If you have a check, no matter how much you love the check or what's on it, if you don't go into the bank to cash it, you are rich in paper but poor in bank. But did it change the fact that someone has given you a cash or a check? No. So God said the scripture is fulfilled today. He has anointed me to set the, to proclaim the liberty of the Lord. Can I announce to you, we have entered the season of Jubilee. And every time they want to be jubilee, there's a sound. There's a sound. There's a sound. Make the sound in your room. Sometimes look at the devil and say, hey! You are, devil does not understand English. Jesus does not speak English. He speaks spirit. He speaks the word. So you look at that problem and see, I keep saying it. I use myself as an example. So we're going to be seven years mar- in marriage in April. And we're still trusting the Lord for kids. They didn't tell me. They did not tell me, sir, that we are going to wait. Right? I woke up like that. I'm like, wow, I'm going to wait, sir. But you know the beautiful thing? I've come to know him more than the God of babies. He's a father. He's a friend. The reason you keep moving while you're waiting for your miracle is that you can behold him. And when you behold him, never lose your wonder. You look at him like, Daddy, I'm still waiting for F and F. I know they are here, guys. They are around me. But listen, why I wait for the manifestation, I'm not going to pause my life. I'm going to keep doing what God has called me to do. So even if you're not married, you're waiting for a job, or you're waiting for something, I've got joy. I am free. The snare is broken. So the state that the devil is trying to make me feel when I see babies and everybody used to catch belly like this, like in our meeting, they just used to be like, Phew. just, just, you know, God is amazing. The lady that sang, I'm no longer slave to fear. She has a terminal disease. And most times when she ministers, people that get free in that meeting are those dealing with those things. I said, the state is broken. I'm here to tell you one of the snare will be your needs. The trap of your needs is one of the ways the devil will try to keep you bound. That is why those that know they are God, they'll be strong and do exploit. We are strong not because we don't have scars. We are strong not because we don't cry. We are strong not because we don't feel the pain. But there's something that excites us more than the more than the need. We are not going to turn our need to idol. I'm not going to just pray about my needs. I'm going to say, Daddy, what do you want to do on earth? Daddy, what do you want to do with me? You can have my womb while I'm waiting for F and F. Have this womb. Is somebody saying I am free? to tell somebody break out from the snare of your need you are free but the devil will come to you now this is not my message but this is what the Lord wants the devil will come to you Matthew chapter 4 if you use the pastor's translation he says how can you be the child of God how can you be the son of God and you're hungry that's the trap somebody say trap I went on YouTube to see how the snare works it's a trap you don't see it coming 
So sometimes the question the devil is trying to lure you into a trap is not a lie. It's actually not completely a lie. It's just deceptive. That's what he does. Because truly, Baba was hungry. And then they just said in Matthew 17, 3, 17, you are the son of God. In woman, well, please. And the next thing the devil is coming, if you are the son of God, if you are the son of God, how can you be hungry? You have been serving God all your life. You marry as a virgin. And you have 10 years in marriage and you have no child. This God, what kind of God is a bet? The moment you take it, Tolu, come. Sorry. Let me celebrate. The moment you take it, just stretch something out. It's God. You just stretch your hand. And you, the moment you take it, start to take it on a journey. It's just, if you are a son of God, why are you hungry? The next thing, you see you're not good enough. You see that there's something wrong with you. He starts taking you on a journey. That's what the devil does. He doesn't rush you at once. It's one by one. If you enter the moment the devil is rushing you back to back, listen, you've engaged on a journey you're not aware of. But tonight, tonight, we are coming into the knowledge of who Jesus is. Ever before me, it seals upon my heart. I live for the one I love. We're coming to a place where we're unshakable, we are unmovable. God does not need babies in heaven, He's not withholding babies from me, He's not denying me for, oh yeah, now worship me more now. Let me see if you fast 10 days. I'm keeping this baby so that you can. That's not what He's doing, He's on shadow. He had to come at the right time. So what I tell the devil, see, this ad, it has to happen. See, there's some things in your life, it has to happen. Mary, no matter how, Elizabeth has to be six months before Jesus. Our baby had to be run, uh, what was that? Forerunner. The baby Jesus can see, no matter how much, <laughs> Elizabeth has to say, oh wow, Shay, move it. Ah, ooh, ooh. She has to wait. Because she said, Shay, do it, do it. But as service and that of our husband qualified them for something they didn't even know. Out of the mercy of God, God said, You know what? This one's I want you to birth the forerunner. But they don't know they want to birth the forerunner. If this was a normal baby, do it to oh God. Pepper them, God. They're calling me. I don't get baby. God, when? Oh, shut up. Lord, I give you two years. Two years come and pass. I say, Lord. I'll give you six more months. Oh yeah, you know I'm resuming again. Shay, do it. Go. When did prayer become graph? You are asking God, do it now. God, else, else what? God is not under pressure to defend his name. You say, God, prove that you are God. He is God. Before you were, he has been and he will always be. You will have thought when God disrupted the life of Mary, God will put a billboard to say, I was the one that impregnated Mary. No, he didn't do that. He allowed her to carry it. He allowed her to be misread. He allowed her to be misjudged. He allowed her. He is not in under pressure to prove. So you must be okay if God sent you an assignment and is quiet about it. So God showed them that you sent me. Have you seen that he sent you? That's okay. What am I saying? We're breaking free. Sir, this thing do me. Because you see believers, we've turned our problems to idols. That's what we pray about. I want to see, I can know your level of intimacy with God when I see your prayer list. You cannot rise above the level of your prayer life. I was listening to a message today. And the man said, of all the things, sir, that's okay, of all the things that this disciple saw of the Lord. They didn't say, Jesus, teach me how to teach. They said, teach us how to pray. They said, they didn't say, teach us how to do miracles. They didn't say, teach us how to prophesy. Because guess what? You can excite people with your prayer, with your gifts. But you see that prayer one? Is it that it's there or it's not there? Because what you see on the outside is a product of what is happening on the inside. So they didn't ask for anything else. He lived such a life that all they could see that people are seeing, people are being ill. They are seeing what they are not seeing. 
that this guy will go and say, my will is to do it. He goes away early in the morning. Oh, Shalaya Niano Supradia Kalodosa. Ah, God is visited this house with hunger. I'm carrying it, I'm bringing it. Hunger for God. Hey, you'll be so hungry. Somebody say, I'm free. So know this, God wants you to know you're free. I say, God is saying again, shame the devil and praise God in spite. All this will do life. I don't know who you are, but you're serving God. And you think the reward of service is notoriety. Where do we get that from? I spoke to a young girl this morning. She had no business trying to plan whatever she's planning. In debt, trusting the Lord. Where did we get that from? Because they've done it this way doesn't mean it's the only way God can do it. But the only way you can know how you do it is those that dwell in the secret place of the Most High. No visitors, no tourists, no but dwellers. You have to dwell to know. And this is just one of the things that will make you live free. Remember I said, well, if you are born again, you're already free. But are you living free? And if you cannot answer that question, now, when you get home, ask yourself, in what area am I living free? Because there are areas the Lord highlighted to me Three days ago, my husband calculated, said three things to me this morning. Big shout out to you if you are watching. Peace. He said three things to me. He said three things to me this morning. He said, Missy, these are the three things the devil will always try to attack you. You see, the blow you don't see coming hurts you the most. A lot of us are in, we are not in touch with our emotions, with our lives. You see, why I celebrate your tenacity to speak in tongues, if it's not translating, you are probably living a lie. The Holy Ghost that comes on you but will not talk to you about your tongue, about your character, about the Holy Ghost that will not make you do your job well. I don't know that Holy Ghost. What I do know is that the moment you allow God into your life and you are, He will wreck it all. He will go to your character. He will, it's not just gift, it's gift and fruit. Gift is gift, fruit you develop. The same Holy Ghost that give gifts, if you allow it, will develop fruit. So I'm aware of the areas the devil can come as a snare. I'm aware of them. So when I sight it from afar, <laughs> I don't keep quiet. Hello? What's in Bible? This is just happened right about now. Where, 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 are your, where are your covenant people? We are packaging for ourselves. Even Jesus not go to get money alone. He knew they would sleep, but he still carried them. He knew they would sleep. He still carried them. Maybe that's not all while. He might have given him a bit of strength. This morning, my son and I were talking. And we just sang over ourselves because we just got another bad news again. We can't believe it. Three years project. We didn't know what to do again when we sang a song. Sing O Barren. It's not only for people looking for a baby. Convert it. Where's the area of barrenness? Sing. It's not a plea. It's an instruction. And it's not so that God can be lifted so that you can be protected. Because when you create a presence conscious environment, the devil cannot penetrate. Somebody shout, I'm free. One moment. Say, Lord, today, I break free from this needy mentality. Need that there is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I promised my husband I would try to comport myself. That's great. But most of us ask them, what's that thing? Not his presence, but his presence. Not his presence. My helper, just right. I'm not saying it's wrong, but he taught us how to pray. The first is our father relationship. Who art in heaven? The only line, only one line was for your need. One, one. Give us this day our daily bread. Only one. The rest, relationship, commissioning, eh, deployment, everything else, forgiveness, character. One is our need. Why? Seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And every other thing shall be added. Stop chasing the added and do the seeking. Hmm. Father Lord, deliver me from needy. Open your mouth and pray on your seat. Today, Lord, I repent. I have these things, but be real with God. Oh. God, it's paining me. Oh. You have not yet done it. Oh, it's paining me, but I choose to trust you. Lord, I choose to trust you. Ooh, glory to God.
Lukalabashikata. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. Quickly. One of the things that will help you live free, and this is one of the things I'm going to do today. Knowledge. Knowledge. The truth you know will set you free. The truth you don't know cannot set you free. It's the truth you know. And I want to look at two case studies or three. Number one, Numbers chapter 13, the Lord sent out the people. Numbers 13 verse 1, now the Lord said to Moses, send out men to explore the land of Canaan. Understand where I'm coming from? Your needs can become a snare. Complaining can become a snare. Comparison can become a snare. So, guess what? In scripture, according to Galatians chapter 5, I believe verse 1, it says something about you can do, don't go back to that which you have been rescued from. So, I realized you can go back to those things. And guess what? Like I said, his invitation, did God really say? That's how it starts. Today, Orishishi has happened. Sorry, Orishishi means all manner of things have happened today. And I just realized that this is invitation. You must know these things. It's the same, guys, it's the same thing the devil has been doing since Genesis chapter 3. That he's still doing, but we still fall for it. Why? My people perish for lack of knowledge. When you see him coming with that hand, the devil does not remind you that you have not prayed so that you can pray. It's to condemn you. When did he turn to alarm clock? He doesn't remind you to study. You have not studied. Hmm. A O U. Two things. A O U by now, they can kill. They are all rooted in pride. In an assumption that is your performance that will bend heaven. Studying the word and praying has to be response to love. That is why you can pray and not be hungry, but you can't be hungry and not pray. Prayer becomes a routine. I don't care how many prayer calls you join. I don't care what the hashtag you use. I really don't care. What's your relationship with God? Somebody put on, uh-uh. They say that God, there's nothing cannot do. I just lost my baby. How do you explain that to them? But God is waiting for people that will say, ah, see my mark, me too, you lose baby, ah, hey. wait, wait. But there's nothing God cannot do. I told them on Sunday, what God cannot do does not exist. It's not only for receiving, it's also for standing. Meaning there's nothing God, what God cannot do does not exist. That somebody that's still trusting God for a baby is not crying, it does not exist. <laughs> what God cannot do does not exist that somebody has just lost a job but is dancing. It's only the doing of God. So what God cannot do does not what? Exist. What God cannot do does not exist means that, you know what? You planted a church 10 years and it, what God cannot do does not what? exist. They just did something in your car and you are praising God in spite. That is a revelation to that person. So truly, what God cannot do does not what? Embrace it all. Don't take a side. The Christianity that tells you that you won't go through. I remember they said Bishop Oedipo, they were singing in Covenant University. I just can't give. Now, sorry, boys don't go. Come too far from where I start. So Papa said, stop it. Stop it. Uh, no, no, no. Nobody told me the road. Papa said, stop it. What do you mean nobody told you? The Lord said it in his word. In his wife, you will go through many trials. From that day, they don't see that. He said, stop it. I said, lie. My father told you. What do you mean nobody told you? Because it's funny, but that's the reality. We are singing songs that is anti our faith. Those people, they did not, mom, they did not know it. They did, not, they did not do it intentionally. It's just, you know, lyrics, but I've realized I don't just sing anything. Does it align with scripture? Because I keep saying, nobody told me. In the road, no, he told me. He said, in this world where you live, your mother, your father, your daughter, you will get father, mother, and persecution. Persecution is part of the reward you get for following Jesus. In the month of December, I was broken and weeping. Something just happened, and I cried. I said, Lord, fight for me. And he said, Missy, he said something to me and I repent. I said, Lord, forgive me for wanting to be treated differently. They are judging you. They are mistreating you. I said, Lord, avenge me. That's no problem. But she must understand that that's part of the cross of being a Christian. Knowledge. If you don't have the right knowledge of what Christianity is, who God is, it will be a snare. You will not be able to celebrate the testimony that's still your prayer point. You will not be able to celebrate the testimony of someone that see your prayer points. You will not be able to look at what's happening in Nigeria and find a reason to thank God. Two days ago, I said, Daddy, you have to encourage me. Meaning days that you are down, tell him to encourage you. He is an encourager. You, he will encourage you. Praise God. 
So the spies, glory to God. And they went to explore the land. Numbers 13, verse 1. It says, the land I'm giving to the Israelites. Send them. Someone said, giving to the Israelites. So they had a promise. But look at what they said. They said, the people are powerful. We saw giants there. Verse 29. Itai, Jebusite, Amorite, they live in the country. The Canaanites live along there. We can't go. But Caleb said, let's go at once. We can certainly conquer them. He said that we look like grasshoppers. That's 33. At what point did they tell them you are grasshoppers? They didn't have a conversation. They just assumed. They saw that. that's a snare. Assumption is not discernment. It's a snare. When you just conclude that this is what God is doing. It's a snare. Look at this woman, Mark chapter 5, the woman with the issue of blood. Case study 2. She says, verse 27, Mark 5, 27. She has heard the report concerning Jesus. She came up behind him in the throat and touched his garment. But she kept asking, she kept saying, if I can only touch his garment. This woman did not get any promise. There was no prophetic word to her. But she heard about him and he built something in her. Another set of people, they had a promise. But yet he did nothing to them. What are you going to be? If Christ had not died and this woman said, if I can touch and she was made oh, and God said, who touched me? Who touched me? Meaning there's a way you can touch God that heaven will stand still. Who touched me? There's a way you can worship God. Everyone will be like, who is worshiping me? There's a way you can choose to remember the faithfulness of God instead of wallowing over what he has not done. And everyone will say, who is that? There's a way you can declare the praises of God and God will say, who is that? My worship as an aroma in heaven. Do not fall for the snare of the lie of the enemy. Knowledge. Knowledge. Help that woman. She heard about God. Some people, they didn't just hear her. They parted Red Sea. They drank. What have they not seen? Yet. And that is why I believe strongly. Miracle is supposed to reveal the goodness of God. But doesn't mean that it's to convert your heart. Moses, the Israelites, they knew about, they knew about God. But Moses knew the ways of God. My church was this, this church in this season. As a presser in this conference. As you pray, always ask yourself, who is this God? That's setting me free. What do I know about this God? Is this just a needy based relationship? Or do I really know him? Who is ready to pray this evening for the rest of the time? Please, I need six men. Just six. Six men to come on the stage, please. Let me quickly show you something. Oh, shala bakaya da mashata. Interesting. Please go on the stage. The powerful thing about knowledge, how do you get knowledge? Through the word. Now as you behold in the mirror, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, he said, we stare, we behold like in the mirror. We are being transformed. Meaning you can't be transformed through an illusion. You only can be transformed through the mirror. Look at your phone. My husband did this analogy, blew my mind. Look at this phone. You know this looks like it's a mirror. You can see, what can you see there? Is a shadow. Look at your phone. Without powering your phone, you can almost see yourself, right? That's not how God is asking us to look at the word. This is a shadow. You're not seeing clearly. You cannot do any correction. You cannot do makeup with this kind of mirror. You cannot, you cannot see. You cannot put this as your rear mirror in your car. I want to see where you're going. What God is looking for is like, like the clear mirror. You open it up and you look at your life. This one is not aligned with the word. Lord, let's deal with it. This is what the Lord is saying. You insist and you persist. Seek him first the kingdom of God. Uncle, you look like Jesus. Glory to God. Can we celebrate God? So you're going to be Jesus. So let's look at that. This is marriage. This is school, money, house. I want to blow. That's, that's, us, that's what it is. No, no. You are... Just that, so they will use his brother, brother. You will blow in Jesus' name. So this is what the Lord this is what the Lord, Lord is saying. Look at him. He says, seek first, seek me first, and all these other things will be added. But this is what we do. We try to go after the added. So God is saying, Come through me, you get all of this. You say, No, God, your ways, you are not sharp, you turn. 
and then you want to labor to get this one by one. So you calculate, I spent 15, 20 years in school. You, oh yeah, grab it, you have achieved one. You already maybe say 35. Then you collect another one, 30, 40. Collect house, 45. Lord, I want to retire. Have you noticed how our needs never stop? There's always something more. Then you gather all of this again. Then you ask God, what can I do? At the age of what? I mean, God can still, God is blessed with people that God will use them. But let's stop. When there's another way, everybody arrange. It's down where we are going to go because everybody go down. Thank you, sir. Just two of you, sir. Wait. All the needs, sir, stay there. So you're not in need in Jesus. No, you're not going to your sister. Just stay in front of the altar. Please follow me. What God is saying to me is chase me. So, sir, I'll be going around. Just be going around. Be following him. God is saying chase me. Pray in the morning. You are free, but let me teach you how to be free. You're not going to be free by just looking at Instagram posts and put amen and under it. You're not going to be free by just reposting posts and say, oh, shalala. You're not going to be free by just joining prayer calls and not having your own prayer calls. Follow me. Follow me. You want to, yeah, brother? But are you in drama department? Drama small. You want to go that way? God drives Oh, God, man, it's not like that. God draw, drag him back. Yes. Follow me. Yeah, continue. So, sorry. Just keep following. 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 This is what God wants. Then all of a sudden, God, oh yeah, beckon. Now begin to chase this guy. But I'll be, just be chasing him. Chasing him. Say, please come and collect now. Please come and collect now. Please come and collect now. Oh yeah, grab him now. Give him yourself. House, blessing, car, everything. Take it all. Take it all. But let me tell you what we want. Look at the other way. You be chasing this money. Chase all of them. That's what we do. But you have money, all of you, be, you just be running away from him. You're not running away, but you just chasing. Small salary, God is good. You see, they have even scattered in different places. How do you want to chase them? But there's a way that cement right. The end is destruction. But there is a way that if you align yourself to that way, every other thing shall be added. So what God is inviting, chase God. And everything else will be added. Thank you very much. There is a kind of joy you have. That though you are waiting, some people are waiting, they, will never, they might not experience it. There's a kind of joy you have. Break the snare of your knee. That's my message for you today. I told you I have a message. They don't preach one thing there. Just two scriptures. Break the snare of your knee. That's what I heard the Lord say. Isaiah 54, sing or barren. The stretching will not kill you. To wait more will not kill you. Where are the Meshach, Meshach and Abednego? That will say, even if you don't give it to me. It, it says, we, we read that scripture like it's Marvel movie because you've seen the end. You say, Oh, yeah, even if they don't give, no, they were ready to die, they were dead. Abraham said, Lord, I should go early in the next morning. Who goes to, to go and roast his child as I assume the next morning? He got up in the morning, took his child because there's something you know that will power you to dare to believe God. Paul in prison, bound in chains, was telling us, Rejoice. I say, Rejoice. How? Paul in chains was telling him, like you are not rejoice. What does he know? That his circumstances not telling him you are not a joyful man. Paul saw chains and said there's a purpose for this chain. Paul will see things and there's a purpose for this thing. I want you to jump on your feet. We are going to pray. There's an army, there's, there's an army rising, the army is here. Who are those that will come before the Lord who are ready to press and guess what the bible says in the last days i will pour out my spirit on all flesh my sons and daughters will prophesy meaning in the last days there is no age there is no sex there is no child old everybody can catch this fire father lord you sent me to activate people to get hungry for god to know god than god listen god, see eh? god's best for you it will blow your mind. You will, catch, you, you will be trying to catch your mind. Then another one is happening. God is a sweet father. He's not pushing you to just do you anyhow. God is not a mean God. Somebody say God is good. And if you've not experienced this, say God, I want to know that you're good. That's why Paul will say, I pray that you may know him. That was all. Paul, go and read the epistles. That was the prayer of Paul all the time. I need, and it was not in the best of condition. So the Lord says to tell you today, the greatest snare, apart from the devil, the snare, apart from the family that is pursuing us, and those things are real, the greatest one will be the distraction of your needs. You are saved, you are born again. 
the devil now gives you a walk perpetually chase your needs and you leave every other thing else but will you in spite of how you feel drag yourself and say lord he is my worship all of my worship some days i'm doing it crying receive but I've, I've, you can't be with God I want to be without him I've tasted, I've touched some things and I want more in this kingdom you get hungry by eating the more you eat the more you want more hey and I will not be silent come on Open your mouth and give him Talk to God I won't be silent I won't be silent I won't be silent I will worship him I will worship him As long as I am breathing As long as Jesus I said, Lord, I want an anointing of staying. Some of us, it's not your need, it's the blessing. The blessing as you don't know how to move past the past success. Hey, I said to God, there's an anointing in this house. Because those that will carry the fire that the Lord is releasing in plenty, in little, they are not moved. They are not saying, Malosa, Brade Kelabas. 